So why did federal authorities raid the office of Chicago's second longest standing alderman? That question still unanswered. As of this morning, no charges have been brought against Alderman Kerry Austin, but we do know federal agents were executing a search warrant when they showed up at her office yesterday. CBS 2's Audrina Vegas joins us now live from City Hall. Hi, Audrina. Good morning, Mike and Aaron. There have been no sign of Alderman Carrie Austin today here at her City Hall office or at her office on the south side in Roseland. She also hasn't returned our calls or emails since yesterday. Her ward office in Roseland was the center of a federal seize yesterday. Here are agents hauling out boxes, envelopes, and electronics. Authorities won't elaborate on why they were executing that search warrant other, other than to say it was a court order. The search comes six months after agents raided Alderman Ed Burke's office prior to his January indictment for extortion. A source close to the investigation tells CBS2 the raid at Austin's office is not related to Burke's indictment or the wire worn by former Alderman Danny Solis for two years. Mayor Lori Lightfoot, who is calling for Burke's resignation, weighed in. For the fact um, that Danny Solis wore a wire for two years, um, I have no reason to believe or know that these things are connected, but we knew that some other things are going to come. Alderman Austin is expected or scheduled at least to be at a town hall meeting tonight. We will be there to see if she shows up and has a response to FBI agents raiding her office. We're live at City Hall, Adrena Vegas, CBS 2 News. All right, Adrena, thanks so much.